Good evening, everybody. It was a quiet evening. Now there's somebody driving a little, I don't know what it is. A, it's not a motorbike. It's like a moped or something. Anyway, I just thought I would make a little video tonight. Show you a little bit about what I've been doing this week. I spent a couple of days working. Doesn't look like I've done much, but actually um, I haven't been feeling all that great that past week or so, so I've been kind of being a little bit kind to myself, trying to pace myself a little bit better than I usually do. But as you can see, I got the garden all tilled. That was a major accomplishment and no toads were harmed yahoo so this garden is pretty much ready for planting in about a week or so i would imagine we could start planting we're still getting kind of chilly overnight last night it was we had a frost it wasn't a nothing froze but um, they said it was minus one but I don't know if it really got that cold in this yard, but pretty soon I'll start with some of the in-ground things, not tomatoes or peppers or things like that, but I can certainly plant onions and carrots, beets, lettuces, that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is an exhausting time of year. It's a it's a wonderful time of year. I mean, the expectation of putting a garden in is great, but it's a lot of work, which pays off in the end. So this part of the garden here is the main garden. Where those sticks are is where I usually, I usually make a path that goes straight through the middle of the garden. And I'm going to do that again this year, except that I'm going to actually put a, a barrier down, like a, a weed barrier. And I'm going to put some um, wood chips on top and make it a, a real path. Uh, that way the weeds don't get crazy in there. And I was going to put the a squash arch over in the smaller part, but actually it's quite large. We've been working on putting it together and it's going to be way too big for that area. So I think I'm going to put it over this path and plant each side. That way you can walk through the arch as the stuff is growing. So I hope that's going to work and I think it'll get better light um, planting it this way. So a little bit of change of plan. And I might as well go back this way. Sorry, I'll try not to go so fast. This area back here is still under construction. I did plant my little clematis that I got the other day. And the funniest thing has happened. This is where we were going to put a patio. But our town had... Um, town-wide yard sale yesterday and I actually was lucky enough to find a gazebo still in the box for $20. It's not a huge gazebo, it's, it's a smaller size one, but I think it'll fit here perfectly. So for now we're just going to put the gazebo up um, and see how that goes see how much we use this area. Maybe it's a good thing for this year and then we'll see if we really want to invest in making a patio here or not. Oh, well, here's where I put my uh, strawberries behind the garage here. And I made a, 
structure for some more sweet peas and I have planted some. They haven't come up yet. Hopefully they will. And I also moved all my plant starts outside in this little greenhouse that I bought. It was a great little purchase. $29. Best $29 I've ever spent. Plants have been out here for a couple of days. The tomatoes aren't happy. They're looking a little bit draggled, but I think they'll be okay. They're, they get kind of finicky when you change their growing condition. Peppers are doing just fine. They're loving it out here. As are the squash type plants and melons and things. They're doing fine. And down here is all the flowers. They're doing great. And the geraniums, they're doing fine. So I think all in all, everything is okay. What I do, I open it up. It's got a little door, see? And I open it up at in the morning and give them a water. And then at nighttime, I close it which is what I'm going to be doing right now. And that way, if it does get chilly, uh, everything's fine. Everything's tucked in nice and safe. And nothing can get at the plants either. So that's a great little it's a great little tool this thing. I'm happy that I I found it. I'm just gonna pull. There we go. I've never shown you my other yard. Well, it's, it's still my yard, but it's the front of the house. No, not the front. The south side of the house. We have a whole other yard here. Which desperately needs some attention. And once I get the garden in, this is going to get some work done to it. Um, they're a very sad looking plum tree, which we have pruned uh, more than we should have, but it's not dead. Look at this, it's got, <laughs> it's got some buds on it. Oh, this crazy tree, but that's okay. It, I think it, uh, it had many, many years of life without any kind of pruning or anything. And then over here, is a Saskatoon tree. Same thing. It's been sadly neglected over the years. And then here I come and I start hacking at it. But, uh, you know, you have to prune fruit trees or they don't do well. And then the front of the house, or not the front, I don't know why I keep calling this the front. It's a side, another side. This was where all those roses that I've been pulling out were in here. This is just a horrid, horrid mess. An impossible task, but I have to tackle this this year. It's just really getting to me. This is kind of seeded itself with those, I'm not sure what they are, those purple what I call flocks and some kind of volunteer tree. I still would like to take a tiller in here and just till this all up and do something with it, but I don't know what to do with it yet. I haven't made up my mind, so until I do, I'm just gonna let it be wild. So this is behind our house. It's just a strip of grass, really. 
just enough to have to mow. So there's lots of work to do on that side and this is the, our house is in the middle of the property and we have two side yards, basically. This is one and that's the other. So I was at a garden center a few days ago and I picked up some herbs and these beautiful tangerine pansies. Elaine, if you're watching, check these out. Aren't these just glorious? I love them. The little dogwood is not showing any signs of life. Hopefully that'll change. Here's some of those roses that I've chopped up and I've just thrown them in water and they're doing something. Here's some more. Oh, I'll replant them somewhere. And I'm digging all those other ones up. I planted the sweet peas that I was growing inside. They look all right so far. There's a little basil there in the middle. I think that's not very happy. And I bought this fennel. I've never grown fennel before, but um, apparently it can be good for tea. So I'm all about tea these days. I'm going to give it a whirl. And remember I told you about, in one of the videos, I told you I had planted some seeds from a pine cone. Look at them. They're the tiniest little pine trees you ever did see. They haven't died yet though. So we'll see what happens. And I've just started to put some herbs in this little bed. Got a ways to go yet. And I potted up some mint that I bought. This peppermint, chocolate mint, and ginger mint, which I'm very excited to try. I've just got things kind of sitting that haven't come up yet. This isn't doing much. This is going to be the wild flower garden here. And look at this chamomile. Isn't this nice? It's all along there. I want to seed some more, but I'm very happy that it came back on its own. At least some of it's growing, which is great. Of course, there's lots of dandelions and I've left them for the, for the bees. It's their first food when they emerge. So for now, the bees can have them, but not for long because I can't stand seeing dandelions. Here's my, one of my little blueberries that I planted. This one's, um, what is it? A Northland high bush blueberry. And a red raspberry, a red raspberry. A red raspberry, a red raspberry, and another red raspberry. And this one is a Wyoming black raspberry. And this one is a Wyoming black raspberry. And the other blueberry. This one is a blue gold high bush berry. So I planted them in with a lot of pine needles and mulched with pine needles as was suggested. So hopefully they'll do all right. Kind of cloudy, a little bit overcast. 
we might have a nice sunset when we have skies like this. We usually have a pretty sunset. Well, almost always we have a pretty sunset. Nothing prettier than a prairie sunset. Even when you live close to a mountain. So we cut the grass once, but it's due for another cut again. It's nice and green. Kind of patchy. This is the worst grass in this yard. It's mostly quack. No sign of life from Joe. This is this, um, this is a stone house I made. This is actually our other house, which is now my son's house. This bed is kind of springing to life. I think this is the most life of anything around here right now. But I spied this. Look at those little purple flowers. That is a ground cover plant. I got it from my brother and I had it in, in the city. And I brought a piece here, popped it in this ground and it went like crazy. And then I decided I didn't want it here so I pulled it out. But I guess some of it stayed. I have moved it to another area. So I guess I'll just leave it. There's some in those other plants there. Lots of dandelions in here, I better pull. So, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. So I will say a very good evening to you all. I hope all the mothers have had a wonderful Mother's Day today. Hope everybody's enjoyed their weekend. I was ready for the new week ahead. Hopefully it'll be a good one for us all. Take care everyone. Talk to you very soon. Bye for now.